Two Donna Independent School District board members are waiting to be seen by a judge in federal court. This after an FBI investigation. The deputy superintendent tells me that while there was already speculations, they did not find out about the charges until today. Uh, there had been some speculation out there, but nonetheless, uh, until we see something in writing, which is, was like today, then uh, the, the case becomes uh, com as, as confirmed, and that's what we did with our district. The U.S. District Court for the Southern District of Texas unsealed an indictment today charging DISD board members Eloy Infante and Elpidio Yanez Jr. with bribery and attempted extortion of a person who performed services to their district. According to the U.S. Attorney's Office, Infante and Yanez told the man performing the services that he had to pay each of them $10,000 in order to keep his contract with the school district. A Donna resident named Adrian Guerrero was also indicted for serving as an intermediate and exchanging partial payments between the victim and the board members. Deputy Superintendent Fernando Castillo says the details of this case have been revealed to him by the media. And while it involves DISD board members, parents should know that the promise of education to their children continues. As a district, we need to continue to stress to our staff, more importantly to our student body and to our parents, that our district is still going with the, with the intent of being open and that's to provide the best education possible for our students. In Donna, Adriana Candelaria, KVEO News Center 23.